These are the Spider-Man Iron Spider playing cards by the Card Mafia, and these have a lot more secrets than what you might think. Not only do they open once, but they open twice and change colors with the light that's inside. And did I forget to mention that there's actually two different versions of this deck? I'll be reviewing both of them today. Now, although the tuck boxes are the same, the cards that come inside are different. So first, let's take a look at the tuck box. The whole tuck box is done in gold, red, white, and black, and it is done with metallic ink and some embossing. And embossing is when you raise it up or drop it down, which would be debossing, though you can actually feel all of the design with your finger instead of just looking at it. The one side says Spider-Man, and the other side says playing cards. The back is going to be an extension of this design. The bottom has Marvel and Disney ad copy, and the top has the same Spider-Man logo. You'll see that if you barely open it up, it's actually off, and then when you open it up all the way, it turns red. So you have now a red Spider-Man logo on the inside, and if you turn it around, you have one that is gold. Now this one is not lit up. This one is not, is not actually a light source. This one actually has an LED light inside. You can actually open it up then a second time where if you pull up both sides on the inside, another one comes out. And then you get even more design. So it opens up super far, literally almost wider than, actually it is wider than my body, which is kind of sad, but we can discuss that another day. The other thing is the LED light changes from red to gold. And then this is the design you get on the back. So it's absolutely stunning. This is what you get for the bottom of the design. And then here is the top. So super cool looking. But now let's take a look at the playing cards that go right there for both decks. Now these two designs are going to be very similar to each other. Just the border is going to be different on the back design. There's going to be a lot of different stuff for the faces. But for the back design, you're going to see that everything is going to be the same on these two decks. Except for the fact that the one has a white border and the Crimson Edition has a red border. Now let's check out your faces. They're all going to be fully customized and again, different from one deck to the other. So the spades and all of the now from black cards are now going to be in gold and the pips, indices, and values have all been customized. Super gorgeous all the way through, but placement is going to remain the same for all of them. And you get from your spades onto your diamonds, once again, customized. And I love that all the pips and indices are now looking like spiders. And you have your clubs that look like this. And once you get onto the hearts, they look like this. And once you get to the other deck, you're going to see that all the faces are now red backed. And then you have white for your black cards. Once you get through all of those, you still get your gold for your red cards. And you go, can get through all of those. Again, it's going to be all the same. And you get back to white for your clubs and back to gold for your hearts. After that, you get onto your three enlarged aces that all say Spider-Man. And same thing goes for the Crimson Edition. Next, you get semi-duplicate jokers, one in red and one in gold. And then of course, here you have them in white and gold. Now onto the court cards, which might be my favorite part of this entire deck. Each one is going to be either a Spider-Man character, like one of the heroes, or one of the villains. And since each one is different, let me show you all of them. So you have the Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Iron Spider, which is this deck, and you get onto your diamonds, which is where you get Vulture, Ghost Spider, and Miles Morales. Then you get onto your clubs, which is where you get the Symbiote, Spider Girl, and Venom. And last but not least, your hearts, which is Peter Parker, the Lizard, and Rhino. And with all of these, they're going to be the same designs, but because of the different color choices, all of them are going to have different designs on them, so it actually looks a little bit better in my opinion on some of them, which is specifically with the ones that are done in white, I like those better, but with the gold ones, I like the other deck. And last but not least for the playing cards, the Spider-Man Iron Spider playing cards, Ace of Spades, both of them. Now what I've found with these two decks is they both handle the same, so I'll just show you with this one and then you can just assume with the other one that it works just as well because I've tested them both and they both work identically so first we'll check a pharaoh shuffle from bottom to top and you can see with that that it pharaohed every other beautifully the only issue with that was the fact that i didn't cut it exactly down the middle then we'll check from top to bottom as well because not all decks fare the same from one side to the other just depending on how they were cut but luckily this one does no issues with that whatsoever now onto the stock finish and the feel of this deck of playing cards. The finish is going to glide absolutely beautifully, so no issues with how it's going to glide from one card to the other. And don't worry, I will be showing you all these same moves with the other deck as well. So that's the finish of them. That's the coating that goes on the playing cards that makes them glide like this. Now, that's just the finish. The stock and the feel of them is going to be different. So the stock for both of these decks is going to be about middle of the line. 
not super thick or super thin. So if it's not gonna really hit either extreme. So no matter what you're trying to do with it, it should work fine. You're not gonna have to have any super big problems with that. And then when it comes to the feel of the deck, there's two different camps you could be in. So you have some decks that are more buttery. Buttery decks are more moves for malleability like that right there, which is the card spring or something like this, which is called under pressure. Both of those moves require a lot more malleability of the deck, which is the more buttery side. Now the more snappy side would be something like ATM or backdrop. ATM looking like this or something like Legolove, which looks like this. Both of those moves are, require a little bit more uh, snappiness. Same with this one, which is backdrop. So all of that is going to require a bit more snappiness. This one is going to lean towards snappy. So it's going to have a little bit, not necessarily less malleability, but it leans toward moves that are going to have a bit more snappiness to them. So you can clearly do both of them. I just showed you all those moves, but now let me show you all the same moves with the other deck. First of all, clearly glides, absolutely stunning. And then use a quick fan, no issues there at all. And you have the card spring, which looks like this, along with under pressure, which is here. Super gorgeous. And then we had what, ATM and Legolove, which subsequently looked like that ATM. And then Legolove is that. And then we had the last one, which was backdrop, which looked like this. And of course, if you're going to pick up any of these decks of playing cards, you can check them out in the description below or popping up on the screen. Now, these are just made out of paper, though. So, so unfortunately, if you get water on them, they will be damaged. But if you grab these right here, which are the Doctor Strange playing cards, which open up like this, these playing cards are not made out of paper. These are made out of a PVC material. So since they're made out of the same material that you'd use to make PVC pipes, what's gonna happen is now these are waterproof playing cards. They feel like somewhat of a mix between a normal deck of paper playing cards and plastic, but they still handle like they're paper, but get the benefits from plastic playing cards because they're waterproof. So if you wanna see if you can do some underwater cardistry or just see what the difference even feels like when you're doing cardistry with them, and you can check out the deck review of them popping up on the screen. Now I'll catch you guys in the next one, so make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews just like this. This is CPM, signing off.